What was the city of Hiroshima below? What's your name? Uh, my name is Ruben Mendez. Any organization? Uh, well, I'm a part of Occupy Wall Street here in New York City. And I'm also registered uh, as a part of Global Zero, which is a nuclear abolition movement, in a way. It started in 2008. You got a sign here that says, no nukes, no more Hiroshima's. Tell me what you hear. I'm here to protest against the fact that in this world there are 23,000 nuclear weapons and that the United States has 10,000 of those and out of those 10,000 there are over 1,000 nuclear weapons which are on um, hair trigger alert pointing towards Russia and that's also a threat not only to um, millions of people around the world innocent men women and children but also a threat to the entire human race do you know if uh, Russia is a threat to us uh, yes, Russia definitely is a threat. As a matter of fact, this city, New York City, is a, it's a very high value target, nuclear target for the Russians. Do you believe right? the Russians would uh, throw a nuclear weapon on uh, New York City? Well, obviously I hope not. And even though it's a very low probability that they will, um, the fact is it could happen by, by uh, either deliberately or by accident. As a matter of fact, in 1995, um, there was an accident because in the Norwegians um, launched a, a research rocket, and the Russians, for a moment, mistook that as a nuclear attack by the United States. And as a result, Boris Johnson, um, he had the nuclear football on his desk and uh, threatened to launch nuclear weapons against the United States. But luckily, uh, he was smart enough to realize that it was a, it was a, just a rocket, not an actual nuclear attack from the United States. Therefore, uh, Armageddon was prevented. Yep. What would Russia uh, target weapons at uh, United States and at New York City? For what purpose? Kind of having a, a power struggle. Even though it's not as bad as it was in the Cold War, but it's still there though. And as a result, we have thousands of nuclear weapons pointing at each other, and thus threatening the entire civilization and the human race. Thank you. Thank you. Right? Back up. Anybody wants to feel we're not walking. 
They're imprinted. They're imprinted. Was the outline of a shadow? Was the outline of a shadow? A silhouette. A silhouette. We're gonna embody. We're gonna embody. That silhouette today. That silhouette today. To symbolize the fact. To symbolize the fact that we won't forget. That we won't forget. And we don't want a world with nuclear weapons. And we don't want a world with nuclear weapons. We want a nuclear free world. We want a nuclear free world. As we melt, as we melt, we're gonna howl. We're gonna howl. This is the luxury. This is the luxury. The people in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The people in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. We're not afforded. We're not afforded. So first. Silence. 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 Does someone have a bell?
nuclear energy or ni is no way, no future. Is the government uh, starting to make some changes or are they still supporting nuclear energy? Uh, yes, but uh, from, from, for, from now, uh, government has to change their opinion, otherwise they're not going to get any uh, the support from citizens and they're not going to get any votes. So they started thinking, you know, naturally, they have to change their mind. Would you call this a mass movement in Japan? Um, yes, I, I think how many people uh, demonstrate and protest or no new movement in Japan last year? Uh, 200,000. 200,000, that's a lot. Do you know that they didn't actually, um, they didn't actually talk about that in the, in the press and on TV here in this country? They didn't talk about that. What is your reaction? The major media, of course, not want to talk about it. But now we have an internet, you know, so like a democracy now, that's a good right. link to check. Do you hold, uh, do you think GE needs to be protested? Is this a good... Uh, strategy to uh... oh yes everyone has to stand up and say something we cannot just watch you know television in, in front of you know, at, at home and let them let other people to take care of you know this nasty business is going on we've got to do something each one got to do something and the damage to japan do you think that, that that this can be repaired Probably, but mentally, spiritually, I don't know how long does, does it take. But I want to just stand up. I'm a mother of three children. I want to do something. So and lots of people want to do something. Well, one last question. Do you believe that eventually there will be, uh, this will spell the end of nuclear energy in Japan? Yes, I hope so, strongly. <laughs> Then I want to start crying now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.
if I lost you or not. I <laughs> see. Target uh, just a few moments ago. I think we did a pretty good job, good job staying on target just a few minutes ago. And we're going to go back to GE's building. Where we're going to hear from some folks who are fighting nuclear weapons and nuclear power. And we're going to see a play. A short excerpt. Of a play, of a play about a guy hammering shut, about a guy hammering shut the nuclear industrial complex. The nuclear industrial complex. So while we march, so while we march, why don't we sing? Why don't we sing? No way, no way, no way, no way. No way.
on duty here. It's okay, it's okay. Otherwise, I thought we'd up. get a cup of tea together or something. <laughs> I don't want to take you away from here. I'm on duty with you. That's right. You're just calling. Hi, how you doing? Want me to look in the camera? How do you think you? Forget about the camera. Yeah. Just look at me. So, um, just start up. Tell, tell me your name and. Uh, my name's Father Paul Mayer. Uh, I live in East Orange, New Jersey. I'm part of Occupy Faith and Occupy Catholic. And, uh, and what's we, happening today? And what's happening today, this is a very sacred day uh, for me uh, because uh, this is the day on which the United States dropped the atomic bomb on Hiroshima and Japan and a new age opened up for the world, the atomic age. Uh, age uh, it is no coincidence that the material out of which nuclear weapons are made is called plutonium because Pluto is the god of hell and today hell was opened up for the people of the world hundreds of thousands of innocent people mostly civilians were murdered in Hiroshima and hundreds of thousands more were radiated right into the third and fourth generation and I had the bitter privilege <laughs> of visiting and working with the uh, Ibakusha, they are called. These are the burnt people. These are the survivors of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And it was a heartbreaking but powerful experience to meet with these people, many of whom are deformed, terribly burnt, and others simply are suffering from all kinds of forms of exotic cancer which they are passing on to their children, and many of whom, because of their suffering and the feeling that all life is over for them, decided instead to dedicate their lives to making sure that nuclear weapons would never be used again. And one time I was involved, besides visiting them in Japan, we, this organization I work with called the Religious Task Force, we organized a tour of Japanese radiation victims along with U.S. radiation victims which are the GIs who worked on the bomb, the Native American miners who mined uranium, people who work in the factories and they traveled around the country talking to churches and synagogues and schools. So this is a sacred day from which we must learn because these witnesses are dying off, they're very old, they're very ill, and so we, each one of us that hears this story, must consider ourselves witnesses and continuing this tradition of making sure that nuclear war never happens again. And of course, I want to talk also that last year there was another atomic disaster in, in Fukushima at the nuclear power plant there. This is one of the worst. This is, was probably worse than the nuclear accident at Chernobyl, which was the worst thus far. And we don't even know how serious it is yet because the radiation is still going on, the uh, containment vessels are still leaking into the soil, the oceans are being contaminated, the fish. So when you have a nice shrimp cocktail or a fish, even though it's here, who knows what happened to it on the way. So that's what we're doing, contaminating our planet. And these people have become, many of them, permanent refugees. They will not be able to return to their homes 10, 20 years. We don't even know. People haven't even moved back to Chernobyl yet because they can't really guarantee that it's safe. So, but oh, let me also say on the hopeful side, the hopeful side is that we are all out here, that these wonderful young people who I'm honored to be with are coming out, keeping hope alive and, and resisting and occupying the nukes. Recently, uh, three people broke into a nuclear facility and, uh, and put blood on, yes. and including one nun. That's right. Um, can you talk about that? Yes, and, and they, by the way, are part of a tradition, the plowshare tradition, which was actually begun by some friends of mine, uh, the, that, uh, the, the uh, brothers Berrigan, two priests, 
uh, and uh, other many Catholics, but also many others, and they broke into the uh, into the weapon plant up in uh, near not in Harrisburg in Kingsville. Kingsville? No, no. This was in Pennsylvania, where one of the big nuclear plants is, and they they, they all did pretty, They were all convicted and did pretty serious time, like three years. So here we have this 82-year-old nun. Uh, continuing the plowshare tradition and also reminding us by the way on just on a political level they were allowed to walk around the facility for two hours so you can rest assured that our security is in good hands that no terrorist is ever going to get hold of these weapons you know and of course they are all over the world and we have been responsible for the proliferation for example Pakistan which is a very politically unstable country, we, the United States, was responsible for the Pakistanis getting nuclear weapons. So, and is pro proliferating all the time. So the only solution is to call for a nuclear-free Middle East and then a nuclear-free world. Uh, nuclear weapons are not safe under any conditions. It is a miracle that we have come this far without the Third World War breaking out. And uh, it's only because of the constant courage and perseverance of people working in the anti-nuclear and the nuclear disarmament movement that we have made it thus far. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless. Thank you. Thank you.